Welcome back to Tech is Easy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn on parental controls in digital well-being. So earlier, I, I had made a complete tutorial on how to use digital well-being. So if you haven't seen that, I've put the link in the description or you can click on the top right of the screen. So now, let's get started with this video. So first, I'm going to open digital well-being. And now, I'll scroll down. And you can see that parental controls is written here and below that it's written set up parental controls. So first I'll just tell you what parental controls is. So as you can see over here they've said that you can add content restrictions and set other limits to help your child balance their screen time. So basically the parent will have control over which apps the child can use between what time and how long the child can be on the screen per day. I'm going to show you how to set it up. First, click on set up parental controls and now you can read all of this and then just click on get started. Then you've got to decide who will be using this device, a child or teen or a parent. So I'll put child or teen, then click on next. Then over here you can select your child's account. After that, they've said that the other accounts which are on your phone will be logged out. So just scroll down, you can read all of this and then click on continue. After that, click on next. So now, you have to sign in with the account which you will use to supervise your child. So this will be the parent's email ID. And after you've logged in, you'll get a long list of all the controls you'll have. So I'll just go through all of these quickly. So this is what parents can see and do. They can manage the account, block some apps which they want, which they don't want their child to use. They can control the location setting. Then they can limit the screen time. So they can just put a limit to how much they can use every day. And after that, they won't, the child won't be able to use more of the screen. Then they can set filters and controls on Google Chrome, Search, Play and YouTube. And then they can manage the, gr the Google family group. And this is a list of what the parents can't do. So you can just go through this. And now they've said how to start and stop the supervision. So first, a family link will be created and it can be stopped by the parent or the child. But over here it's written that if a child stops this, the supervision without parental permission, then the parents will be notified and the supervised device will get locked for 24 hours. Now you've got to scroll down and enter the child's password once again. So now, you'll reach the family link manager. So they've said that after you activate this admin app, then Google Play services will have the permission to perform the following operations. So you can read this list. So these are the controls which the parent will have over their child's phone. And once you're sure you want to activate it, just click on activate this device admin app. So now I'll link the accounts. And then an app called Google Family Link for child and teens will get installed on the phone. So in the next video, I'm going to show all the parents how to use that app and control their child's phone. So stay tuned for that video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.